title music. Oh, look at me. I have a new thing. Um, that, that was whimsical, wasn't it? Did you like that? That's my new title thing. Um, I've just been playing with it. OBS has got some new cool features. That wasn't one of them. <laughs> no, that was an existing feature. But the other cool feature that I want to play with, the fact that OBS now actually lets you pause the recording, which is something that I was... <sighs> It's essentially what I've been doing anyway, except for when I do it, I stop the recording and stitch it all together, which is why we ended up with a few 40-minute episodes, or longer, because I sort of forgot that I was doing something. And speaking of forgetting that I was doing something, I don't really have any um, direction for this episode, so I thought I'd say, Hello everyone, welcome to Alpheus Plays Stone Block 2. I hope you like the title card. I'm going to experiment with that a little bit more, but that was just a little sneak peek of what's going on. I do use that on stream, so if you want to join me on stream, Twitch. Altree.us, go and have a look at that, um, and it will take you to Twitch. And then you can go and, uh, well, you can follow me. You can't subscribe yet because I need 50 followers before you can subscribe to it. So maybe you should go and tell your friends to follow as well. Then we can, you know, maybe we can replace my day job with just doing this full time. But until then, um, I would like to. I have no direction, as I said, for this episode. So let's open up the quest book, which is on the semicolon button. See if that gives us some sort of idea of the things that we want to do. Uh, we've had a look. We, we did talk about in the last episode that we want to do a little bit of uh, armor. Armor's going to be important if we're going to do things like killing the mighty ender chicken. I don't know how important the ender chicken, uh, well, how difficult the ender chicken is, but I do know that certain things are going to be um, extremely difficult. Uh, these, <laughs> these things don't spawn lightly, and, and they don't like to be killed either. So uh, we're going to need a, a little bit of help with our current getup, because our current getup is a bit of emerald armor that dropped off some mobs at some point. Woo. Great. No. That's not going to help. Keep pressing tab because we're playing Fallout 4 where tab is your pit boy. Why is my phone making noise? When I'm recording. Um, we can probably, you know, pick up some of these things and finish off those. Uh, but also, honestly, I just kind of want to try out the, the, the pause button. So I'm going to pause the recording here and bring you back in a minute when I figure out what to do just to see what it does and if it works. So, hopefully that worked and didn't go horribly wrong. I've just been looking. Um, most of it is just grind, which I should do in Zen mode. I know by now I should have probably put up the Zen mode that I was, the Zen episode that I was talking about in the last episode or the one before that, and I know I haven't done it yet, and I know just cut me some slack, dude. You know, just chill. Take a chill pill and relax. Okay. Um, most of this is just grind, so I will do it off camera and just sort of create these things as much as we can most of this is just repeating the infrastructure that we've already got it got so let's have a look at this draconic evolution because this is going to be where we get our good armor and stuff from and a lot of this is going to require new infrastructure new stuff we haven't seen before and just generally we're going to have to make a place for it it's going to be grand um let's have a look at this then so the draconic evolution information tablet uh i didn't mean to press that i meant to press this Drac information have a look. How do we craft this? Can we easily craft this? Uh, draconium dust we probably have. I think we should be able to make this. Um, I don't have my teleport thing, otherwise I just went back into base. Probably, actually, now I think about it, on charge. Quick look over here. Uh, I, I think I'll put everything down here. Hello. There you are. Nice. The number of times I've lost stuff, I would not be surprised if that had just disappeared. Although, in my defense, I found the time in the bottle that I thought was lost forever. Um, and nobody knows where why it was there. This is not what we type. This is what we type. Information tablet. Can we just make one? No, but I think that's because my draconium is actually up here. Quite attached to this. Give me this. But that should be stored in the real system. Probably not going to need this much of it. We have a, a, a tablet. Let's have a look at this. Right click on it. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay, jungle is not blends good. Magic continues. Powerful tools to obtain uranium. Let's have a look. Instead of reading this, let's just have a look at what the quest book wants us to do. First thing to do is probably build the things that it's expecting us to do. Uh, obtain a dragon heart. Obtain the dragon heart by killing the mighty ender chicken. So I think that kind of. Uh, uses pen for his chance cube. Hogs in the head. Still need to look at what chance cubes do. Um, I, I, the, the first step here is basically going to be the stuff that we can probably do now or soon. Uh, so we will advance dislocated. 
We ask this to give you a hundred locations. The ender pearls of the field teleport between them. So we've seen something similar to this, which is the ones that we charged up with. This one uses ender pearls instead. Uh, let's have a look at how... I'm pressing tab again. Uh, dislocator. I can type, I promise. Uh, advanced to dislocator. So this is where we start, right, fusion crafting. So we need to make a fusion crafting core, which is going to be diamond and draconic core. And we've draconium ingot and then draconium dust and pearls ingot. So we can make draconic ingots already. So I think what I'm going to do, I would like to actually connect this stuff up still a bit more. But for now, I'm just going to take this stuff out uh, and, and forget about it because we can... The thing is radius. It's a radius based on this draw controller. So that's too far away, but we could build upwards or downwards and it would work fine. So uh, in one sense, yes, maybe we should probably fix that a little bit. On the other sense, I don't care. So uh, let's move on. What we needed to do was first make a draconium ingot. So that was actually one of the things. Draconic core um, it is one of the things. And wyvern core, and then, you know, they go up. So that was actually a... Um, was part of the crafting recipe for the other things. I have some. <laughs> I didn't make them. It wasn't me, I promise. Cool. Uh, that was easy. What's next? Uh, I'll claim that reward later because it's possible that we have other cores, actually. I keep pressing tab. Not your pit boy. Why the type core? I don't have any other cores. Okay. Um, semicolon for that. And then we were going to make the porter, so the advanced dislocator. So the thing about this is that the infusion craft, the fusion crafting, does actually require a wyvern core anyway. Uh, it requires a fusion, fusion crafting core and, of course, other things as well. So we're going to have to have a look at, into how this works correctly, which is what the book's for, but I kind of remember a little bit about it. So um, I'm going to try and do it without, <laughs> without looking. Um, that's easy enough to make, if I say so myself. If I do that, all I need to do is make um, four of these. But more than enough lapis in our lives to make that possible. Now we have the fusion crafting core. Perfect. And we've got a stupid amount of... <laughs> stupid, I'm trying not to swear as much. Uh, of that. Where? So uh, fusion crafting core and basic, basic fusion crafting... One doesn't uh, injector. So we need some of these. The way this works, mm, I need some space. If we can find my destruction, I can type that because it only uses one hand. You can go away. I don't need you anymore. Uh, so the first question is where should we put this, and the second question is where should we put this. Oh, let's do it down here. This seems sensible. Sort of sensible. I forgot about those. <laughs> I won those at some point. Uh, oh, I'll tell you what we could do. No, I don't like putting them under here because I want that place to be bigger. That place is taken. Um, there is somewhat a reason to extend this because this was supposed to be there. So I dug this out by accident. So let's um, go up, down, left, right, by Maybe a depth of another eight. Delete that much. Put some torches down. And then make a big hole <laughs> down by yeah one, and then left and right. Can we do this much? No, because that's going to be too big. It won't let me. We do eight by eight. That big as well, and delete. Whoa! So this is a, a oh hello. Uh, let's not be in there when we undo that. Span around far too fast. Um, it's okay. Smaller than I'd like, and of course we run out of power now because you don't get the power back when you undo. But that's okay. Seems like a good start, anyway. Not a very big room, and I'm gonna want a bigger room because I like bigger rooms. I don't like feeling small and enclosed. You know, I've got. My house itself is not that small, since I've got a small enough house, but it's not that small, but it still has this sort of vibe to it. I don't really know how to describe it in a sensible way. It's just, I can always do it in more space. It's always going to be true, and you can't convince me otherwise, so don't even try. Are you trying? 
And one, two, two. Okay, that'll do. Um, so this is going to sort of basically be plonked here. We're going to want to wire this up to our machines at some point as well. And actually automating this is not going to be the world. Um, so also, I would like to make another travel anchor, please. We already got one. Make one. Yep. There we go. I'll make that for downstairs. You can go away. And the other thing we needed to make then was the. Uh, I think it was an infusion. No. So let's see. This thing. Injector. My mistake. What's that in the middle? Block of iron. Iron, iron. Oh, we'll just click on it. We're going to need several of these. So one of these. I'll show you how it works. One of these. Now. Our uh, press book all nice and done, ready for action. This place needs to be redone as well. I've got so much to do off camera. <laughs> I don't play the game that much off camera. Um, because I have been playing all out. Let's put this in. Go here and be called Draco. Sure, whatever. Um. I, uh, I just do this. <laughs> if I'd known I could do that, I would have done that ages ago. All right, cool. Let's use this then. Nice. Enter. So this is our quick way down here. Working? Yes. Um, these go around it like this. So pop like that. So that is within range. It needs rifts, of course. This is where we're going to find um issue with our tree farm, which I'm going to end up expanding a lot more because um, we need to get power into there and that's going to drain a heckin' lot. So we do have power here, we've got power up there. Um, probably a better way of getting power around, but I think what I'm going to do is go down here. Because this is ancient corridors here. Uh, and I know that it sort of showed up in the middle of the... You know what we can do? We have a travel anchor here. I thought we did. Don't. Oh yeah, there it is. Uh, so that's there. And actually, very much on the level, it's so it seems. Only down a little bit, so we could probably drain some of this power. The other thing I wanted to do, if you recall, is to have the output of all of this probably actually go somewhere. Is this not going anywhere? It's a bit, huh? This is all being powered off of that stuff. I didn't even use this power, friends. I didn't even use this power. It gave me all this power and I squandered it. Knock through here. Me. Um, I was going to say, we must be getting out somewhere nice soon. This is helpful. This is a very good place to be indeed. Yes, I like this. We can move all this stuff at some point. I'm going to leave it where it is for now. Um, fill this with batteries. That would be grand, wouldn't it? What if, like, what if I did... What if we did this? I added some more redstone to my pick, but it's still not the fastest thing in the world. But I guess then again, I don't want to be unable to control it. <laughs> you don't want a, a, an uncontrollable streak. You go there. Um... And then we're going to do it again here. Mess of our torches, but that's okay. Yeah, do the same again. And then I will grab some of the uh, these. I will just do fine with the. Which again, we're probably going to want to upgrade a lot of these because. Um, but do we not already have hardened flux stuff? This is yeah. Let's um make a bunch of these. Make these. Yes. You can go away. I don't need you. You can go away. I don't need you. you can come with me. That's probably enough for now. And I can also start making uh, as many of the uh, these things as I really want to. We'll do this. 
And then what we'll do is have sort of a situation like, well, maybe that's not the greatest. Essentially, where these ones here will extract from those ones there. So in fact, this one should be down here. We'll start building from that end. Because that's what I've already set up. Boop, like that. And then from the bottom, yeah, see. You should have, yes, you do. Aha. Aha. So these are all hard. Nice. Nice. I've already done this. Why are you floating? Floating head. Not creepy at all. Do you see? So now we will have two ranks of batteries, all of them being fed in from the top, and they should all feed each other in that direction as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set the output of this one to there. Yes, basically that, except um, the output of these ones are only going to be at the bottom. The output, <coughs> excuse me, the output of all the other ones will be to the right. So they will all feed down that way and also be topped up from above anyway. So eventually all the power will end up in there uh, and in there. And then the power will come out of here. Oh, I'll just kind of sit here. To heck with it. There you go. So now you are powered from the tree farm. This should be... Well, it's probably not going to be draining because it's not doing anything. Uh, but this is the connection between the tree power and the entire rest of the base. So remember that it's there. Okay, I'm going to make it a little bit more grandiose when we move these. Um, this will be a bit more of a, a real place. I mean, we've got so much space here. You know, I haven't done anything with this area, really. Not compared to what I was going to do. And still will. You know, we need to get also crafting to make a whole bunch of these and just... It needs to go nuts. And it will do, so don't worry about it. But for now, Raconia is over here. So we're at minus 34 here. And we're at 77 here. And 77 here. So this is perfectly flat. And 79 here, as we know. So we're going to go down two. Well, not even down two, because what we can do is just sort of pull things out from here. So I'm going to need a lot more hardened flux ducts. Please craft me a bit of these. Do that. Lead. Lead. Um... Probably a lot, actually. Yes. Um, I think I can probably process this downstairs. Right. Another thing about these, of course, is that... Do you not have lead chickens? I'm guessing I don't. Is there a notebook? <laughs> no. Um, so if I were to... Use an induction smell. What can I put these in? Uses. I can double them in. Oh, I can crush them, I suppose. Yeah, let's do that. One of these is a pulverizer. There we go. You're going to create lead dust for me. That's fine. And then one of these, you can just constantly export. Can you do that? Uh, we have just an export bus. Is, are you in use by this? No. Maybe. What are you for? You might just be a furnace. That would be fine. Have a look at this. You're using eight of eight channels. Problem. Um, you need to be using fewer channels than that. So you're this one. Only five on this side. There's eight on that side. Uh, and you're connected to this. And this is using 19. So I can probably make another one of those. Oh, I've got a thing. Uh, blue, there's one here. If I put this over here, this will allow me to use more of this cable that comes out of here. But the same amount... Oh, I need a second one. <laughs> Whoops. I just need any dense cable at the moment. Did I just put a not smart cable where I intended to put a just covered cable? Back. I know I have plenty of <laughs> no. 
um, inventory slots down there that I could be using for this. Is that not connecting that to that? Can these not connect together? Might be tempted to just replace all of this. Um, let's do smart cable and covered cable. And then these can come up here. So this is still using eight of 32 channels. Twice offline. What have you done? Twice offline. These are empty now. Um, <clears throat> if I put this back to the other thing, and I won't have to worry about it. It's going to be my guess. Bat me. Joink. And then. Shoot. Yeah. So they don't really mesh. Shame. You working now? Yes. 8 of 32 channels. All right, back where we were, um, not Bouncy Swinger. So we are going to use this a little bit more prodigiously. I made every effort to put these back channels and, you know, walking around places in here, but it never, it just didn't work. <laughs> it was refused to cooperate. I'll put another one of those things down here as well, actually. Can I create a, a panel? Um, turn. Tell you how to make a crafting table. Is that good? Uh, you don't know how to make the actual table. Terminal. That. Should now be able to make a crafting table. For me. One bright element. Okay, fine. Zoom panel, please. Oh, uh, no. Or this. I think you can use this. Dark illuminated. Illuminated panel. Yes. <laughs> no. Yeah. Can you make one now? Um, crafting term. Next. Still can't make the bright illuminated. Bright illuminated panel. Bright illuminated panel is literally just an illuminated panel. Why? Can you not? Hang on, hang on. Not. Maybe there is more. Any panel. This any panel. Yes. So I can uh, just put this. Not that one. I can, right, brain, please engage. <laughs> Put you back. This one is made from any panel. So I can just go and wait. And to. Right. Make a panel. Panel. Please make one of these. Go. Right, that just makes it out of one illuminator panel, which is what we have. There we go. Put you back, and now please make me a crafting terminal. Go. Get rid of. Might take a minute. Put a lead or we can probably chuck it back in the thing when it's ready. Right. We'll be waiting for that. Need to make that a little bit faster as well if we can uh, swing it because that would be grand. Because those pure surface quartzes can take a few seconds off my life. There we go. That should be in the terminal. We're waiting for that nonsense, right? Uh, oh, there we go. Right. right, give me the terminal. I also want an export bus. I will teach you apparently. Um, 
I swear on my okay. <laughs> Confusing myself. Export bus goes here. Why not? Export bus, please. You, you were you can't. It did. Fiber cable. Maybe a bit more of that. Perfect. Then we will go down here. We will make a terminal in the wall. Honestly, we can um, probably afford to do this. Now we can have, obviously there's eight here, but there's only, well, we should probably make that a little bit smarter as well so we can figure it out, but you get the idea. Um, you will go over here, doot and doot and doot and doot, ta-da. Now we know. Now we know. No? No channels? We're using zero channels for all of that, even though that is online. <laughs> you're also using... Oh, you're connected there. I see. In that case... This is wrong. Um, although I do want you here. <laughs> right, you are going to be uh, here. You are going to take things from the top and not the side. You are going to be connected to this. Doot. You are not missing a channel anymore. Online, nice. Uh, you lot are all online because this now has six of eight channels. And you should have two of eight channels, but I can't read that yet. There's one of them. We'll bring this down here. Ruin my nice decoration, which is terrible and will be fixed at some point. Anyway, put this here, put this here. Do this like this. And then we need an exporter, but I don't really care too much about that because all I really want to do here is get my lead out of here and put it in here. Uh, let's get some acceleration cars as well. Um, how much can you hold? Might as well build those. Um, one, two, two is the start actually. In there, so you should be zooming away at that, and I will just have some lead at some point. That's fine. Still going. Put that away. Put that away that way and then um brain what were you about to do phone shush i was going to mm -hmm. oh let's get some more smart cable Two smart There's only one more at this point i'm uh, not interested as much as i was in keeping everything hunky dory um uh, oh, what no Just trying to be, I don't want to be as, I don't need to be as efficient as I was anymore. So glass, rest of that. And then I want a hang. Go. Here. Can I have some more blue smart cable, please? Oh, you haven't learned it. Teach it, the, at least the white smart cable because I'm going to need it. Can I make that smart cable? Yes. The white smart cable is... Well, actually, I don't think I do need to do that. The reason is I literally just blew and the other cable. <laughs> uh, smart cable in a circle and blue. That's a lot of lapis. Nice. Uh, down here. Whoa! <laughs> Enough of that. Nice. Finished. End. Shoot. 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 Galloping. All the girls declare he's a galed stager. Hey, hey, clear the way. Here comes the galloping. 
you can please be here. Uh, what? <laughs> what? Who did what? <laughs> Happening. That went all horribly wrong at once. Hooray! We can do it. We are capable. Right. You go away. You go away. You go away. Splendid. You should be doing stuff. Nice. You get in there. And then the lead. What were we doing? Come back next time. We'll find out. Thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the little intro. I don't know if I'm going to do it in the next episode. That was just a little fun. Um, I, I would like to start doing that more often. But um, just saying intro music doesn't really it does not an intro music, if you know what I mean. So maybe we'll sort something better out for that. But uh, until next time, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Hope you're looking forward to getting into some Draconic Evolution with me because I'm looking forward to trying to remember how it works based on having watched some people do it at some point in the past. But until then, thank you for watching this episode. I'm sure that you will join me in the next one. Until then, thanks for watching. And bye. Stop saying thanks for watching so much.